Social media has been called the world's biggest cocktail party. So let's stay with that metaphor for a moment. Unless you're attending solely for the purpose of pushing products and services on unsuspecting peers, not recommended, you walk in with the intention of fitting in. You expect to see people you already know and to strengthen your relationship with them. You hope to meet new people who will enrich your life. Where these people are concerned, you can offer help in the form of introductions to others. You can answer questions. You can give them ideas and information in your area of expertise. When you walk into the typical cocktail party, you don't expect a formally planned evening. You know, with everybody being given 10 minutes on stage to introduce himself and present a question for the group to give input on. Or you don't expect to see a panel of experts to present information with formal Q&A to follow. Instead, the conversation flows rather freely among mix and matched groups. That's where the cocktail party metaphor breaks down. Typically, it's taboo to bring up heavy business topics during a cocktail party. The party represents a time to get to know others socially. You know, personality, family, hobbies, interests, apart from work. So LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, and blogs resemble a cocktail party, but they're also a formal networking event, an advisory group rolled into one platform. That is, attendees to the party formally introduce themselves by way of a written profile, and they tell you about their interest in connecting. That difference makes all the difference in how you present yourself and how you think about connecting online.